Hello YouTube! I'm El Worfi and today we are going to be having an interesting discussion talking about Austria. Austria is the sixth uh, win most commonly winning uh, country. This is one of the most difficult countries to play. In fact, I would argue it's the hardest country to play. Uh, more so than the worst country, which through process of elimination, as you can tell, it's going to be Italy. Uh, Italy has the is the hardest is the weakest country, but it is not harder to play. It'll, Austria is hardest to play because personally, I think that Austria would have done better if it had four guys. But there's some things you got to think about. One, who do you want to be allies with? Uh, you want to you definitely I will say you want this little middle area as Austria to be cool. You want to be friends, so that way you have more flexibility with your troops. So, since you as an Austrian player know that a Russian standard play is to go, uh, to do that, right? You do, you have the two armies coming in. A standard Austrian play is to go Albania, Serbia, Trieste. That's pretty common, uh, especially as, a uh, as Austria. That you, you, you should know that that's a play. Because what you're doing is Austria, you need two. Uh, that, that's pretty much the rule of thumb for the opening. You need to have two. Uh, for example, you, you, you're, you're trying to get into, if you get to this position, like say you can demilitarize that zone, you're in great shape. Uh, heck, even if you uh, first turn went something like this, where everyone's moving down, that would be brilliant. Because then next, next turn, you know this is fine. Uh, it's a 50-50 shot as to Vienna or, or what you want to protect. Again, you, you remember you'll have Turkey coming in. So, if you make Russia your ally, <clears throat> again, diplomacy, but you want to have them support... You, you even offer. I would propose you offer to support... Well, actually, you might even just stay in Vienna. First turn. Or go to Trieste, because it's the same difference either way. Really. I mean, Trieste, in my opinion, is just objectively better. Uh, you can have more diplomacy options going to Budapest... But I, I just think that, that this is just so much stronger for Austria. Um, but that's a personal preference. So what you do is you're in this position, right? You know that Turkey wants to. You also want to. Do you want to be allies with Russia or Turkey is what you want. Now, you don't want to fight both uh, as Austria. If you're fighting both, that's going to be really hard. So if this is the, the first play, for example, they have had the standard stood off in the Black Sea. If you see on the second turn that uh, there's some supports going on, but then... You get this scenario, right? So say this um, move, right? So say you do an attack into Romania, you move down to Greece, and then you move to Budapest, which I think is a very fair play to, way to do it, because you're assuming there's going to be a bounce, right? There's going to be a bounce. You're going to deny there'll presumably be a, a support move, and you're expecting Russia to get it. That's what you're expecting. But if you see something like this, where they're getting two, and then a uh, constant account... A Constantinople move from this fleet signals to you that you're being attacked by two players, because then you'll see something like this. Uh, at that point, while you do gain two, um, possibly one, depending on what... Uh, like, for example, if I'm Russia and I'm wanting to be mean, I'm going to take Galicia, and if I have the Turkish alliance with me, I'm going to go uh, to Vienna, because that's statistically the better option. Statistically. Knowing this, you might uh, pre-plan to go there, but again... Play, you know, I'm giving you all this information so you know it is a 50-50 shot. So you, that's just a guessing game at that point. Assuming, of course, that Galicia is not being used to support the Ukraine movement and uh, hoping for the, the one, uh, which would be interesting because Sevastopol would still be standing off of the Black Sea. So you, you know that's what's happening. Uh, you're probably going to get Greece. You're definitely getting Serbia. There's no way you're not getting Serbia. You're especially because you're taking Serbia and you're supporting the movement into Greece. With that, uh, what happens if that gets cut? Well, it doesn't matter. You're still getting into, into Greece. If you go there, and uh, if they go there, that's fine. Turkey, again, remember, slow start. They're, they're very slow. They're not going to do anything crazy. Um, but again, uh, if, you, if you don't see that, though, like if I, if I was Russia and I wanted to ally with Turkey and I wanted to kill Austria first before Germany or England, my first move would be to go here, here, and, and actually I'd go Romania. And I would give blacks... Well, no. Actually, no. I would not do that. I'd, we'd do all do standard openings. We'd, we'd pre-plan a Black Sea standoff. And this would be the, the first turn. 
right? Uh, although personally, I like this because you 50-50 either way, but you're also protecting. It just seems objectively better. Um, so that's your, this is, let's pretend this is the way it is. If I'm Russia and I want uh, Turkey to be my ally and do well, what happens next is Silesia and Galicia. And um, actually, if you, I mean, heck, if you got it off the get-go, you could do something like that. Uh, then that would be very strong, because then what you're doing is you're allowing with support, right? On the second turn, you support with that army into there. Um, and then you want them to go there, but then you uh, you demand that you get Black Sea as Russia. So then in this scenario, you're kind of stuck. So here's the, the fun part, in my opinion, right? So let's go back to the beginning. Let me show you the way that Austria kind of gets out of this scenario. And I'm sure you might already know what it is. If you do, that's, that's fine. Don't spoil it for anyone. Uh, but let's let's go back to the opening. Beginning of the game, right? You're like, okay, uh, you're Austria. You're like, I want to uh, fight Turkey. Say you want to fight Turkey. Um, because, uh, in my opinion, a Russian-Austrian alliance is better than a, a Austrian-Turkish alliance, if we're looking at this from the perspective of uh, Austria. Uh, so what's going to happen is you're going to be uh, needing um, for, uh, Italy to essentially uh, go into the... I, I, <clears throat> going to the Ionian Sea with um, your Trieste fleet going to uh, Albania with the uh, presumption that um, the Italian fleet might next turn, um, uh, they might go to go to Tunis. But what you're setting up here is to get something uh, after after the builds uh, like this, uh, which would which would be uh, a little more beneficial um, for for now. Or you could even convince them to just go here um, on their first move uh, for Italy. Uh, to go to Naples. Uh, again, you want to, um, as Austria, you want them to suggest that they go to Piedmont just to make sure that, um, just to make sure that France has to, has to keep their toes on because uh, if uh, Italy doesn't go to Piedmont to force France to go to Marseille, then you're suggesting that France can get three extra builds on its turn, which would not be good for any of the central powers, especially since, uh, as Austria, you do want Germany to do well, so that way Germany doesn't have to come and eat, eat into your own territory. Uh, but in doing so, by by doing the Ionian Sea, it looks like it's not as uh, that it's 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 an attack or an aggression towards um, well both Austria and Turkey. But Turkey would be uh, if they're doing the standard Black Sea standoff. It takes a while for Turkey to get its fleet uh, out into the Aegean Sea. Uh, so uh, you could say go Albania, um, go Serbia, Budapest like normal. They'd convoy over second turn. Your second turn you're in Greece. So now on your build. What you're doing is, uh, if you're going to go after um, Turkey, assuming you get your, your two builds, uh, you'd possibly want to consider getting a fleet in Trieste and getting your uh, uh, army in Vienna. Uh, you're essentially just going to you're gonna hold off on fighting with Russia. If, like, if you could get Russia to um, go to Armenia down here uh, and do something along the lines of this first turn opening, give Turkey the Black Sea, that'd be, mu that'd be much better for you because then they have to come back with support from Constantinople to keep the uh, Armenian army out. Uh, but what you're doing is you're setting up a, a chain uh, at some point, so that way uh, on second turn you're threatening to go and uh, that you're, you're threatening to, to capture Smyrna with uh, uh, a Trieste convoy through the um, uh, Adri Adriatic Sea uh, all the way through to go uh, to go over there. If you're if you're trying to attack. Uh, attack Turkey and then again uh, in order for this to work we generally are going to need to be uh, shuffling your guys into Greece and uh, you know hang on to Serbia as best as you can and that'd be like the fastest way to, to attack Turkey that'd be over a couple several moves uh, if you're uh, for example wanting to go after Italy it'll take a it'll be a little bit more of a, a struggle here because uh, what you're doing is um, if you're going after Italy, you need to find a way to get uh, Russia and Turkey to fight each other. Uh, if you want to, if you want to fight them, you need to uh, make sure Turkey's on your side. So you want Turkey on its first move. To you want to convince Turkey to do the uh, the Black Sea, Bulgaria, Armenia move to make sure that uh, even with them moving in, uh, it forces Russia to support itself in Sevastopol. Uh, even which you could even do the the fake out then because it's much more valuable for Russia to, to, to support this uh, while, they're, while they're trying to get their, their move out there against Germany, making it so that way then Black Sea supports into Romania, uh, which uh, could be good for you. But 
since you, you're talking about a demilitarized area with them, you need to, in order to attack uh, Italy, you're, you need to hope that they, they go to Piedmont from Venice and they stay in Rome, or at the very least, when they go, they go to Ionian, that they move this army to Naples to get convoyed over, uh, to go, um, to go uh, convoy to Tunis. Uh, would, would be the ideal for you because on your first move you're going to Venice to attack them and then doing the shuffle of uh, Serbia and Budapest. You get two that way. And then in this case you want to be getting uh, armies. You could get a fleet here to convoy onto uh, Apuila, but uh, that's not quite as uh, quite as likely to happen uh, just because uh, as soon as they'll see this, because um, they're still going to get their one build uh, at the end of it because they have to hold it, uh, they might, you know, move that over instead in, in response to seeing that, in which case, um, if you're doing that, you're not going to have that, uh, but you could end up just having to go Serbia, uh, Tyrolia, just to support or counter the, uh, or attack Piedmont, so either way, you're going to, uh, or mathematically at least, you'll be able to hang on to it if you just support, actually, it'd probably be better if you're going to do that, to do uh, Serbia and Trieste, you support that, that can't be stopped, you know they're only getting the one you've blocked them, uh, and you know that Italy, even though they would like to get an army to stop you, uh, their better play is to do a, a fleet in Naples, because if you if you build in Naples, uh, then they can actually get around, and uh, then they'd have uh, then they'd have something like that set up to possibly you know convoy into Greece from there while holding on because Piedmont's not worth anything to them. They don't actually need it in order to uh, to build more guys, uh, which would just kind of be a little unfortunate. So they'd have to shuffle shuffle around the board. Uh, but essentially what you're doing is then you're, if you get the two that way, uh, again, it, with this to work, you need to make sure Turkey's going that way, because they'll get their one, Turkey will of course build an army there for their one, uh, expecting to go get Bulgaria, Bulgaria next turn, which is fine, um, and at that point, keep in mind, you, you are attacking Russia, you're kind of splitting the map in half between you two, uh, if you wanted to, you could probably, uh, pull off doing something on your next turn, going to Greece, and, uh, you know, supporting yourself into Galicia to kick that out. But uh, that, that's a bit more unlikely. Now, if you wanted to go after uh, Germany, it's going to be a little tough, but it's possible. In that scenario, you're more likely to want to use... Uh, you're you're going to want to have Italy on your side in this case, because uh, what's happening is uh, you're essentially taking uh, Vienna, you're moving to Bohemia, and you want uh, Tyrolia and Venice to both come up this way, to so that way... Um, well, actually, no. You'd actually probably be better off if... Um, you get the uh, the swap with Piedmont and Venice, and then you might actually might want Vienna to to go to Trieste and make it look like a standard opening. Actually, you could do a, a standard looking opening, or uh, you could just go to Bohemia first turn, uh, knowing uh, that I mean, ideally, if you have um, ideally, right, if you want to have uh, Italy coming into to really, I suppose, for support, you could have you could have uh, Venice go there, uh, and then they'll still uh, Italy might still get their basic move. You allow. Uh, France to get their three if you want to, but that's fine, I suppose. Um, and then, uh, so you get uh, Bohemia that's going to make... Be, you you want to convince Italy to give you the attack there. Again, uh, you might think about keeping... Uh, accepting the fact that you're not going to get Greece, holding on to Trieste in case they try and do something like that and, and they go 1-1. One, one. If they go 2-1 and they kick you out, uh, presumably Germany will have gone up there. Uh, you should expect Germany to... To, to support itself, actually, if they'd, they'd be in that position. So you'd expect them to support themselves back. Uh, they would just gain the one. Uh, so then uh, you know you'd just be coming back to cover your, your bases. So you really need to have a good alliance with Italy to make sure this can be pulled off. But uh, again, as Austria, you don't necessarily want to be going after Germany. It's just easier as Austria to attack Germany rather than going for Germany to attack you. Because again, as uh, Austria, it takes longer for the enemy to get to you, and they have there's less ways they can attack you than if you're Germany, where you have uh, much more because uh, of the water, because England gets control of North Sea right away. So it's it's much easier in that respect. And the main last thing that you you might want to think about doing is if you're gonna do um, an attack on uh, say Russia, and you don't you don't have support from Turkey, say if if uh, you, you want to deal with them both equally, uh, and, and you can't get them to cooperate. Uh, then first move, uh, you, you'll, you'll still do the, uh, the Serbia, Budapest, uh, Albania. But what might end up happening is you just have them support each other, uh, and then you just move to Greece. You should expect there to be an, uh, an attack here, because you'll notice 
if they do the, the Romania move in the first turn, again, you're only getting one, at uh, most two anyway. So mathematically, there's no way they can hurt you uh, if you support each other. They could go there uh, to Vienna, in which case you're gaining one, you build an army anyway, and then it's landlocked because you could support each other and essentially force them to go around. Uh, eventually, they'll, um, they'll be clogged up uh, because if uh, first turn they open like that and they, you know, they do the standard Black Sea standoff, uh, you're set up like this. And you're doing the, the typical. I still think going to Trieste is the safest play because you can defend either one of those easier. So if you're in this scenario and you know they're both coming after you and you don't want to focus on killing off uh, Turkey first, right? Because then presumably the next round you move into the Aegean Sea or just go to the south coast, coast of Bulgaria. Uh, you'd uh, want to be doing something along the lines of making an attack onto Romania or making an attack onto Bulgaria with support from Greece in, in the follow-up turn because uh, you're pushing that off, making it more likely that Russia will have a... Uh, again, obviously, you, could, you can talk to them, but it'd be more likely that Russia would feel more comfortable attacking Turkey than doing that. So what happens is, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get Galatia to be open. Galatia is pretty much always going to be occupied by a Russian army, unless you can convince them to go to Prussia or Silesia. If you see either of those moves, you pretty much know that Russia is going to be on your side. And that will be about it for this arm, for this country. So... Uh, obviously, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. As always, I'm Overfeet, and I'll see you guys next time.